a path here. There's a path here. It's a path there. But which one do you choose? This has kind of been like the question of the week, man. I don't know. You know, there's a lot of paths in life. A lot of choices that you can make. Um, but it can be hard sometimes because you, you always want to make the right decision or like the best choice for your life, man. But sometimes it's not that simple because each path maybe has something good for you. Um, and you're like, man, you're like, what do I, what do I do? How do I choose? And honestly, I don't know. I don't have an answer for you. Um, sometimes I think you just have to try things. Um, you know, just go for, go for it. And like, I think really take time and really think about what it is that you want from life and what it is that you're hoping for and what you want to do and who you want to become. Um, and I think, you know, hopefully you can find certain things to lead you towards that in one of the paths that are presented to you. Um, and then I say, just maybe just give it a try. (laughs) You know, I, I don't, I don't know if there's a right or wrong really to one of these questions in life. But I think sometimes you just have to go for it, take a leap of faith, and just you know, if you if you, if you if you sink, then you know what you sink, and then you try again, you get back up. Um, but if you fly, man, and then you're that's it, you're home free. I think there always has to be a bit of faith, a bit of hope in any decision that you make in life. Um, and yeah, just trusting and knowing that um, you know. But there is hope out there and that, you know, it's, it doesn't have to be all doom and gloom, but, you know, at least have hope, give, you know, try, try things. I think it's so important to not be afraid, not let fear take over and just go, you know, just go for it. And, uh, and yeah, I think that's been something I've been kind of working through recently myself is just learning to just go for it and um, not be afraid of whatever failure or rejection or or you know um or anything like that and just just having the courage to at least try because if you don't try how can you ever know right it's like that quote if it, you know better to have tried and failed than to never try never have tried at all um and i think that's you know it's so cool there's definitely some some truth in that i think and um i mean obviously be discerning be be wise in what you try but um i think if it's because of if you're letting fear stop you, then I think, you know, it's like why why are you letting fear stop you? Um, just kind of go for it and, and trust that, you know, that's your uh, you've got a solid foundation to fall back on. Um, I think that comes from just getting to know yourself better and getting to know who you are as a person and your identity and um, just being able to have that solid foundation to fall back on in case you do stumble. You know, uh, I think it's so important um, for people to just really have like this identity search and identity kind of, um, you know, discovery. Um, I think as it's a thing that you kind of go through life, I think is you're always kind of trying to figure out who you are and who you want to be and this and that. Right. Um, but I think once you find a little bit of that, you can kind of hold on to those truths that you know about yourself and, and not let outside things try and change that. Um, you know, not to say that you don't need to change. I think change is good sometimes. And, um, we're always changing and, and evolving. Um, but yeah, I think there's something to having solid pieces of you, solid truths about yourself to hang on to so that you don't, you're not so easily to fall down and, and you know, become something you're not. Um, so anyway, quick little weird, I don't know, video of thought process and, and sunsets and goodness like that. Um, I don't know. We'll see what happens with this. Thanks, guys. See ya. Get to know yourself better. Have that foundation. Hold on to it. Yeah.